Manchester United are two games away from qualifying for the Champions League next year. We've got Celta Vigo, the second leg of our Europa League semi-final at Old Trafford on Thursday. We head there with a 1-0 lead, thanks to a wonderful, wonderful Marcus Rashford free kick. We don't head into there in the best of form, thanks to that 2-0 defeat to Arsenal. But fans and Mourinho and the players have got to be confident of qualifying for this Europa League final in Stockholm. But how is our form going into the game? As I said, that was a very disappointing performance against Arsenal. There were lots of players rested by Popper, Valencia, Rashford, Blind. Eight changes, I think, in all. Tuan Zevi made his debut, ended up being our man of the match. Disappointing overall performance. Wayne Rooney really let the team down with his performance, as did the majority of the players. Mata and Mkhitaryan ended up playing more as wing-backs than wingers. We lost 2-0 in a game I feel we could have won and I've always I've said that I've been frustrated about that performance because I feel Mourinho gave up on the top four prior to kickoff when I think that was a bit of a dismissal and putting the eggs in one basket. But the eggs are in the Europa League basket. And we're, as I said, we're heading into this game against Celta Vigo in good Europa League form. You know, we beat Anderlecht. It was a gritty win at Old Trafford, but we overcame them an extra time thanks to Marcus Rashford. Then we went to Spain, Celta Vigo's biggest game in their history. We easily beat them. Very, very confident win. Could have been 2 or 3 or 4 nil, but at least it was 1 nil. We didn't concede, and that is the main thing. So Man United are two wins away from this being an outstanding first season for Jose Mourinho. A League Cup, a Europa League trophy, Champions League qualification. That was the main premise of this season. That was the main objective, to qualify for the Champions League. Not many people expected it to come through winning the Europa League rather than finishing in the top four, but it doesn't matter which one it comes from if ultimately we do qualify for the Champions League. So Thursday is a cup final already for Man United. And how have Celta Vigo got on since we played them? They lost 3-0 at the weekend to Malaga. Just like Man United against Arsenal, Celta Vigo rested so many players in that game. And they really are not in the best of form. Looking at their form, they have lost five games in a row heading into this match. But something that is interesting to look at is while their form overall has been pretty awful, they're not doing too bad away from home in the Europa League. In the last four games they've played, they've won three and drawn one, so they're undefeated. You know, they went to Shakhtar Donetsk 1-0 down and they won 2-1 overall. They beat Krasnodar easily, they beat Panathinaikos away in the group stage and they beat, no, drew against Genk, or was it Ghent? One of the two in the quarter-final. So while their form overall in the last five games has been pretty poor, Celta Vigo have been drilling out performances away in the Europa League, so we cannot underestimate them. We cannot go into this game thinking we've won it already. Because if we do that and Celta Vigo score, there's going to be a lot of nervous people at Old Trafford. I was there for the Anderlecht game. One of the most nervous games I've been to in, in a while at Old Trafford. You, just, you can feel the tension. We don't need that on Thursday against Celta Vigo. We need the players just to calm down and control the game like we did in Spain. And that is my main concern coming into the game, is that say Manchester United go 1-0 up in the first half early doors, or whenever we go 1-0 up, that we're going to sit back, that we're then going to depend on our defence to keep Celta Vigo out. Because look at the Arsenal game at Old Trafford. 1-0 up, we ended up sitting back for the last 15 minutes, squeaky bum time, you could feel it coming. Arsenal didn't have a shot on target until that point. Lo and behold, Olivier Giroud comes up with the equaliser. Could that happen in this game? If we were to go 1-0 up, Celta Vigo would obviously need two. But if they were to score one with 15 minutes remaining and say it was one all on the night, that is going to be a nervous, nervous last 10-15 minutes for Manchester United fans. And the problem with our defence is that the defence has shown me this season that we're not very capable of holding on to a 1-0 lead and seeing the game out like Jose Mourinho did so often at Inter Milan, at Chelsea, Porto and Real Madrid. That is his staple. He loves holding on to a 1-0 lead. It's just that this defence at the moment, I don't think he trusts them. I think that's why we saw Mata and Mkhitaryan operating as a back six at Arsenal. Next season, I hope that won't happen. But I think if we do that against Celta Vigo, it's just an unnecessary risk that we don't need to take. Who is going to start for Man United? Make sure you check out our Start 11 prediction show, which we do every single week. Got 10 out of 11 for the Celta Vigo game. I was naff against Arsenal, but who predicted that Tuan Zebi was going to make his debut? Not many, if any, people. But looking at the game itself, my prediction, I'm going for a 2-0 Manchester United win. Maybe that confidence is, is slightly misplaced if you're looking at the Arsenal game, but I don't think it is. We rested so many key players in that game. 
every player is going to be focused on what is this is a final already for Man United. They know that they're two wins away from having a very successful season under Jose Mourinho. And they're also one loss away from it being a dismal season overall. So the players know what is on the line. And if we've got Marcus Rashford in that team, for me, he's the player who has stepped up and taken responsibility this season, especially in the Europa League knockout stages. We've needed goals and we've needed someone to take the mantle and he has absorbed that pressure onto his shoulders. And he's still only 19. Phenomenal player. But with him back in the team, I'm confident that Man United can get past Celta Vigo. And I'm going for a 2-0 win. But what is your prediction for the game? What do you think will happen? Let me know in the comments below, as always. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon.